Hey guys, in this video I'll be demonstrating the audio delay when using AirPlay versus Bluetooth. This real-world test uses the M1 MacBook Air, connects to my DIY Smart Amplifier. Details regarding the setup of the amp, software versions of all devices, and more can be found in the description. Now to test, I fully buffered a YouTube video, and using the built-in speakers as a baseline, I'll be jumping around. And as you can see, after every jump, audio and video resume almost instantaneously and when I pause and play back we see that audio and video resume instantaneously as well now that is the expectation when watching a YouTube video let's see whether that's the same when we're watching via Bluetooth so clicking on table speakers BT switching over to Bluetooth I press play and we see basically the same thing minimal delay when seeking around Perfect audio and video sync, and when pausing and resuming, instant resume of the video. Now, let's test AirPlay. So, switching over to AirPlay, I press play, and immediately there's some lag. As I seek around, I see buffering. Also, when I pause the video and resume it, the video plays for about two seconds before the audio comes in. Now, just one thing to discuss is this loading icon that you see on the screen there. That isn't due to YouTube buffering. It's due to YouTube actually pausing the video and waiting for the audio to catch up with it before it plays so it can maintain that synchronization. So, it seems that we should just be using Bluetooth, right? Um, not so fast. AirPlay gives you many advantages, not just the disadvantage of the lag. But as a TLDR for best quality, use AirPlay. For best responsiveness, use Bluetooth. But what you should really do is click the link in the description to get the full details. Cheers.